Yes, I'm Tony Fosu, the CEO of Sinap Yaba Trust. Um, Sinap Yaba Trust is the largest microfinance institution in Ghana, seven over 120,000 um, poor entrepreneurs in all over Ghana, particularly rural Ghana. And uh, more than 85% of our clients are women because we believe if you help transform the lives of women, increase their income, you are more impacting the lives of the family. Yes, I started in 1998 as a loans officer. I was well motivated to do the work I was doing, transforming the lives of these poor micro entrepreneurs because I remember that is exactly the work that my mother used to do. That is how um, she was supported also through um, to see us through our education. And um, with that motivation, I've risen through the ranks to become the CEO. Views that many people have that um, poor people are lazy and unproductive. That is not the case. Um, poor people have many of them very productive, very hardworking, but the challenge has been the lack of access to financial services. And um, with the support of organizations like Blue Orchard, through institutions like um, Snap Yaba Trust, we are able to create that access for them to improve their businesses, that access for them to get financial services to increase their turnover and for that matter their profit margins and to help their families. For who are being served know that I mean but for microfinance they wouldn't have had access to the financial services that are so critical for the development of their businesses and organizations like Blue Orchard and others could increase their support to microfinance institutions in Africa. I believe um, in places like Ghana and many parts of the developing world, the biggest challenge um, lies with the regulation. Um, I believe policy makers must wake up to the reality of microfinance as a tool to transform the lives of the poor and set good regulations to support the infrastructure. 